seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road, against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warmer back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Wonder what's the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play. This was a stupid idea. You're the one who wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Geralt! Go after him! Leave these here to us! Him. Gotta look for tracks. Prints are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. Hmm. Looks like it might have started limping. Come on now. Hey! You! What the hell's a fruit heap? What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm. Dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside. There another way in. 
Truth be told, there is. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel, back way out in case of trouble. We don't let strangers in there. Show it to them, even. And there's... <sighs> Shut it! Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end to your life. Yes, but I also realize you that my corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Pankrat's Viscount the Letton Hole. Viscount, kill more. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every goitered idiot I run across. Now, if you could just unbind. Everything. I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this last to thank for his reason after years. She chevied and chevied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
gates. We have to run! Grab a horse to the temple! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. What crawled into your britches and bit you? I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Don Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it.
but that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morhen. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I know. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Nothing, really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right? All right. Farewell. I repeat. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. Don't show your hides run here ever again. Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he Geralt Opal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. 
Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arseweight won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Is this true? Yeah, brain, all of them. To be purveyed cheap boards and watered down wine? Hey, I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Hey there, handsome. You're always considering. A not one for me. Thing, it's another. Let me know when you find your side. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? A dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. Know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Well, I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, my new Melissa, you. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? 
Mm hmm Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. The dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Zed's inside, and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Must be Zed. Find it? No. The Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Rico. Time to shine. Get him! Isengrim foil Tiana from the square tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. It's a material world, and I'm a little Zoltan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure here. Ha! <laughs> the sea elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. Believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ravi? Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Who's Caesar Pilsen? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now, you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. 
the mage hunters will tend to do yet. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh, this can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? About that, it's the flea ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend, Ravi was just about to play for his life, and... Uh... Ow! Oh, you've got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> I'm mean, here. I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play. as a mate, and sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... but he won! So, now we'll play something else. Gotta got you, clear, you You. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. 
the Natalis card. Of course, here. Witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one, and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is... I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the Witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? Willing to pay? Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Needs some kind of lead first. Any clues? Uh, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward a port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. Draw your weapon. Prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy this time. Brought friends? Huh. They all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor, too? No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. You'd better go home, get some sleep. Think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two, but I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah, we're done here. Right here. What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Needs some kind of lead first. Any clues? Uh, yeah, yeah, he ran. Toward a port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers? Should be an easy scent to follow. Blueprints. Traces of sewer slime. Blood. Fresh. Gotcha, Holson. That was five stone with the purest fist tech you put to the torch. You know what it was worth? All right, Witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have my stick it up for cats. I'm not joking. Ain't ya? Fine, we'll talk serious then. Let it 
didn't expect help from the likes of you. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly! W will you help? <laughs> you hunters sure are polite when you need something. Fine. Do you a favor, against my better judgment. Give me your hand. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. So I'd Caesar never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's liked to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the Ponta! You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. And it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Happen to like Xander. Cause you're a witcher! What do you shove in them potions? Shit's a delicacy to use. <laughs> A witcher? Never mentioned he was a witcher. Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, caught suckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once. Dug up a crawly, so fat and lovely, I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Kaer Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Belton, had many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt! Go fetch us another bottle. In a bit. No! You've forgotten why we've come? How are we gonna get pissed in one bottle? Fine, going. Sh 
sure play that on us too. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. Forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard, you wouldn't have fallen in. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Pop Snow White Cherry. Fuck sure, blame that on us too. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never learn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. You walk him to Vet's skull, Vatier to Rido's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. 
If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. <laughs> ah, at last. I fear the body has gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse and I'll tend to the others. Slow you down. Something like that, Lee. The horse will not loop, does out. What? Can't understand a word. Is that a fee? Something close? Who? No! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Ponta. Saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you got everything. Mm. Zoltan? Geralt. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more 
importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? Got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horse Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Let's play. You never give me nothing but floppy diddly. Seems I won. A right fucking shock given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing the shame of a dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. We can gather it here. 